Hello everyone, welcome back with a new video. As you know, recently Google has released the final Android P preview DP5 GSI, and most of the Android with Snapdragon processor are supported, and some people are already using it. But the phone like Honor 9 Lite does not support it because of its Kirin 659 processor. Although it has Project Travel support. We didn't have much developers, so we are unable to test the features of Android P right now on our devices. So to get rid of the problem, I am here with you to guide you to install an Android P same GSI like theme on your devices running EMUI 8.0 or 8.1 and EMUI version 5.0. After installing this theme, you can feel that you are experiencing android p i will also teach you to get android p like volume panel of mi button and so on so without doing any delay let's get started with this okay welcome guys here we are going to do a side by side comparison of EMUI 8.0 stock and android p theme so here you can see the notification to goals and you can check the theme which looks premium you can compare yourself and i am showing you here the comparison that the android p ui is much better than stock EMUI 8.0 and you can check that setting it's on or nine light android p ui is much better you can check that app icon see that it's app icon of ui and android p ui According to my experience, Android P UI is much better. You can see that there is no any lag, no any issues. I am using this theme from since 3 days and did not face any type of issues. So you can check that the volume, volume panel of Android P. So this is the volume P UI. So, so let's get started with the tutorial to get Android P on Honor 9 Live. Okay, here go to the Play Store and search for PEMUI and you will get this theme. This is Android P theme for EMUI devices and it has P Pro version also. If you have if you want to buy then please buy this theme. This is very nice theme for EMUI devices. So open the theme and just click on continue and allow all the permission. So this is developed by S7. You can see now. Just click on that S7 and skip that ad. So on the launcher section, you can type custom app drawer. You can design your theme on your own way, and you can choose the icon pack. I'm choosing here rounded icons. I'm choosing rounded icons and setting app settings colorful. You can also choose gray if you want so i am choosing notification panel or quick settings as a blue and system ui is a gray and you can give the name theme name according to your wish i am here to going to type android p so 
you can write anything and here i am running on emui 8.0 and it will be saved on theme folder just go back and open the theme app open the theme app and here you can it will open away themes and go to my themes and at last you will see that android key so click on apply and just click on G. and now after applying theme you can see that you have android key but on the upper side on the battery icon you can see this is the issue and you need to reboot your device after applying this thing so that every icon and everything will be fixed so you need to reboot your device to fix battery overlay issue if you have on your device so once you reboot it uh, i will show you how to install android e volume ui on your devices so to get volume p download the app volume p from the play store and just grant the permission to overlay and play screen overlay and do not disturb access grant the permission and phone state just allow and on the accessibility service go to volume p and just on that toggle yes just slide that toggle and click ok and you will get the permission the app will grant permission and you will be able to use you can also use switch to save some left side so that your volume panel will be on the left side of so you can see on the screen that this is android p volume ui so this was the tutorial guys if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel please share this video and help me to get 1000 subscriber within this month i hope guys you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and share so you can comment on the down comment section below that which ui is better either stock emui 8.0 or android ui so let me know in the comment section below thank you guys